What's good YouTube and favorite filmmakers back with another banger episode of Cinematic Breakdown and if you haven't watched my first cinematic clip 2023 I'm gonna put the link in here go and watch it right now but before we get into that let's go find somewhere to sit shall we Am I the only one who hates when people do that with their coffees or drinks? But this whole time, I was the people, like, I was the one who was doing it. But I, I had no idea. Now everybody knows. Mm. See, 2022, I was just struggling with the algorithm, editing, uh, having more engagement, getting more connection. But all that changed in just the first month of 2023. I'm close to a million views on TikTok. And I had my first post that viewed 200k plus views, which is impressive because I had like 200 followers because the account was new. I, I made it for my filmmaking project so I can have more engagement on TikTok. On the other hand, I made an Instagram page, which is different from my photography page. This one concerns about more about filmmaking and having more connection in the film industry. So far, so good. Like it's it's actually going great. Now it's time for YouTube. Well, today's episode is about um, breakdown. So we're gonna break down the last post that I posted and. And the, the post before this one and it's about um this short 45 second cinematic uh p-roll we're gonna start with the fringe you can find the fringe on app store it starts with free and, and i'm using the free version that's why i'm going to some some of the effects on some of the tools for premiere pro because i have a membership with premiere so this is screen you see right here is uh, where you import your files and here we have all the raw footage and we recorded all of these with um s 3 Sony 74, Sigma 24-7. And all of them are 120 frames, they slow down to 30 frames. Uh, this next screen is where you cut your clips, where you take the part that you like and you leave the parts that you don't like. And if we switch to the third part is where your timeline is. And one of the reasons that I go back to Premiere Bro is like having a better timeline than the Vinge of. It's kind of complicated. But at the same time, DaVinci has like a lot of opening pages, right? So you can go back to clip, uh, clip and cut parts, uh, importing parts. While in Premiere Pro, it's all on one screen. You have um, the display, the timeline, the clip and cut parts, the imported files, everything on one screen. It's 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 easier. Let's be honest, it's easier. So here I will show you how to easily color correct your footage without touching any of the things down here. It's complicated if you want to color grade your video manually, but we will use more professional way. So let's drag this color space transform effect and let's put our input color space as sunny as gamma 3 scene because this was my setting in the camera. And let's put our input gamma S log 3. If you have a different if you have a different setting than mine, then use your setting. Now we just added input color space and input gamma, and our video went from this to this. And the last thing you wanna do is put up gamma as a rec 709, and your video is back to life. This is how you easily color correct the like 2 without touching any of the things below here. So let's just start revealing our color correction. This is how I brought back my video to life and I made sure that it wasn't like crazy on the highlight because I wanted kind of a moody vibe. You see here, this is this three part is uh, how I get it back to life. And now we're gonna start the color grading. So first I changed my shadows, my darks into a little cyan and greenish. If we head from there, I added like, um, a little fade because the the dark was heavy so now we added a little fade and if we move from there the highlights i added some blue if you see the highlights they were kind of more red and now it's got some blues and here we added glow effect to make the highlights a little dreamy and softy skin and that is how i've done it and the rest all you have to do is copy paste to other footage and there's no skin tones on this footage so i just had to um copy paste my uh, color grading and make some adjustments from there uh, here we have an opening shot another hero shot location reveal shot and ending shot so here if you look down we have two audios and the first one is just a wind to show how cold it was and make you feel the vibes so if you listen to this it's just blowing wind and i downloaded this music from zap slide so if you don't know, Zapslide is a free website that lets you download sound effects and music for free. And you can only download um, every 30 minutes, five musics. And then there's a 30 minute gap that you have to wait and then come back and download another ones. So let's listen to this blowing cold wind. So 
so that was just a blowing wind and if you noticed here the first part you see that little white gap that we kind of just that one is um curls fit is starting the music a little slow and it goes from there so now, same with the music same with the music the music starts like quite silent and then it goes from there and if we go this part of the footage there's a um, flipping wings of bird and i got it from zap slot and i used it like one second before the clip showed so here it's like almost like transition sound and you heard the flipping wings and then you're gonna see a bird and if you reveal the music and the wind it's gonna melt <laughs> That's one way of mixing the sound effects, the music, and your track. Your track could be anything. Here, I use the sound that I wanted you to feel. I wanted you like to be more like, oh, there is a wind, it's kind of cold. But if you're making like interesting footage, like some actions, you can use like a track that goes like, boom, 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 like, like something that makes the person pay attention. Music, and after that, we just exported our file from the Vinger is off and now we're gonna go to Premiere Pro. So now let's open Premiere Pro. And now we're on Premiere Pro. This is where we exported our first clip. And here we have the clip that we downloaded from the Vinger Resolve. It's just color graded sound design video. We brought it to our timeline. Uh, I added some text as an opening shot. So it says the server district and I added a uh, keyboard sound. So after our opening shot, which is the text, we can have a screen dark coming from the top to the bottom and that is because we used the adjustment layer here and we keyframed to be 10 percent from the top to the bottom when the text first comes so if you see there the screen is full and then it start coming when the text is showing and all these texts are <laughs> manually written so it was just 45 second shot but there's an easier way if you're if you want captions to be on your on your footage and if you noticed, just because uh, Premiere Pro, the colors aren't accurate, so I added Lumetri color so I don't lose uh, the colors that I have on my display. It's going to take a lot of contrast from your foot. I overdone it. I added more darkness and shadows I needed. So it took away some of those darkness and some of those blacks. And it, it went back to like how I wanted my video to be. It's like they take like 20% off from your colors. I don't know why. Here, I wanted my video to be like this, but if I export it like this, it's gonna take away more. So I added more so my video could be exported like this. Uh, it's just about like, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, well, don't hate the game, hate the player. <laughs> so on here, I just added a black screen to, to fade out. And then again, fade in to show uh, the photos that we took in that location. And that is how I've done it. That was just my first clip. So there's gonna be more, like the year just started and it's going great. My TikTok is blowing, Instagram, same as that, um, YouTube crazy too. And if we get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I'll make sure I give away free preset. And it's gonna be my signature preset, these colors. I'm gonna give away these colors, the preset that I used for all these shots. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you go to my TikTok, Instagram page. I'll put the link in the description. See you there.